given question a body with 2 kg mass having force damped vibration the harmonic exciting force of 20 newton acting on the mass results in a resonance amplitude of 15 mm with a period of 0.15 second first question determine the damping coefficient of viscous fluid Second question, if the system is excited by the same harmonic force but at a frequency of 5 cycles per second, what will be the amplitude of force vibration with and without damper? We will solve the first part of the question. Mass M is given 2 kg, harmonic excitation force 20 newton, which is applied on the spring mass damper system. And resonant amplitude is given 0.015 meter. Time period TP 0.15 second. And we have to find out the value of damping coefficient C. Now if we observe this system when the harmonic force FO 20 Newton is applied on this system. Then the system vibrates at resonant amplitude. So resonant amplitude is the maximum amplitude and its a notation is capital X. So we will show that it is the amplitude of vibration is capital X and at resonant amplitude omega is equal to omega n. So the frequency is equal to natural frequency. So we know that the frequency ratio which is R which is equal to omega by omega n and which is equal to 1. So value of R we have to take 1 for the resonant amplitude. Now we will first find out the value of k. Now we have time period tp. So tp is equal to 2 pi by omega. So we will first find out the value of omega and here omega is equal to omega n and omega n is equal to under root of k by m. So we can find out the value of k because value of m is given. So First we will put the value of Tp 0.15 is equal to 2 pi by omega and therefore omega is equal to omega n which is equal to 41.88 radians per second. So omega n is equal to under root of k by m which is therefore k is equal to 3509.19 newton per meter. So this is the value of k that is the spring stiffness. So I will underline this. Now we have to find out the value of C. So we know that the ratio of C that is the damping coefficient divided by critical damping coefficient is equal to zeta. So we will first find out the value of zeta. Now this is the question for force damped vibration. So we will use the formula for the magnification factor. So magnification factor is notation is ohm. So how to find out this magnification factor? So we know that amplitude due to harmonic force divided by amplitude due to static force. So amplitude due to this harmonic force. So this is the FO is known as harmonic excitation force and mentioned in the question. So amplitude due to this harmonic force is given as X. And amplitude due to static force we will consider as a xst. So we will take the ratio of x by x, x, xst that is amplitude due to static force which is known as magnification factor. So we will write this. Now what is the formula for the magnification factor? So we have formula 1 divided by under root of 1 minus r square bracket square plus 2 zeta r bracket square which is equal to now value of x that is resonant amplitude is given 0 0.015 and what is this xst that is the static uh, amplitude due to static force so we have xst is equal to fo by k that is this harmonic excitation force divided by k is nothing but amplitude due to static force so we will put the value so value of fo is given 20 newton k so this k will shift to the numerator and k is equal to 3509.19 now when we put the value because r is equal to 1 system vibrates at resonant amplitude so only one unknown term that is zeta so we will find out zeta and zeta is equal to 0 0.1899 that is the damping factor. 
zeta that is the damping factor is the ratio of damping coefficient divided by critical damping coefficient and critical damping coefficient is equal to 2 under root of km so value of k calculated m is given in the question so when we put the value damping coefficient c is equal to 31.8180 newton second per meter so this was the first part of the question now we will move to the second part in second part value of f is given that is the frequency is 5 cycles per second now for this frequency when the system vibrates at frequency 5 cycles per second then we have to find out amplitude of vibration with damping and without damping so now we will first take this f and we will find out the value of omega so when the frequency is 5 cycles per second then f is equal to omega by 2 pi and therefore omega is equal to 2 pi into 5 which is equal to 31.41 radians per second so this is the value of omega now in previous question because of the resonant amplitude omega by omega n is equal to 1 but in this case we have to find out the value of r so r what is the meaning of r that is the frequency ratio so r is equal to omega by omega n now this time value of omega we have to take at f is equal to 5 cycles per second that is 31.41 and value of omega n we have to consider at resonant frequency because at resonant frequency it is always natural frequency so resonant frequency we have calculated 41.88 so value of r we have to take 0 0.7499 now with this value of r we have to put the this value of r in the formula for magnification factor so magnification factor we know that it is the ratio of amplitude so amplitude with harmonic force divided by amplitude with static force that is x divided by x st now what is this magni magnification factor so we have formula that is 1 divided by under root of 1 minus r square bracket square plus 2 zeta r bracket square now value of r we have calculated then zeta we have calculated 0 0.1899 so we have to put the value and then magnification factor that is ohm is equal to 1.9151 now what is this x so this x we have to find out amplitude of vibration that means x we have to find out and amplitude due to static force is equal to f o by k so value of k we have calculated f o is also given so when we put the value because this ohm is also known then this x s t that is f o by k we have to put the value then we can calculate the x so x is equal to 0 0.01091 meter now we have to find out the amplitude of vibration without damping so here without damping that means the damping factor zeta is equal to 0 so when we take the formula for the magnification factor then for this magnification factor we have to put zeta is equal to 0 so in this formula under root of 1 minus r square bracket square plus 2 zeta r so here zeta is equal to 0 so the second term will become 0 so we have to take 1 divided by under root of 1 minus r square that is 0 0.7499 square bracket square and value of this is 2.2849 now here is the formula that is x that we have to find out and x st that is the amplitude due to static forces f o by k so when we put the value and we, when we calculate the value of x then it is 0 0.0130 meter given question a body of mass 75 kilogram is suspended from a spring which deflects 18 millimeter under the load it is subjected to a damping effect adjusted to a value 0 0.25 times that required for critical damping. Find the natural frequency of undamped and damped vibrations and the ratio of successive amplitude for damped vibration. 
if the body is subjected to periodic disturbing force of 625 newton and frequency equal to 0.63 times the natural undamped frequency find the amplitude of forced vibration and phase difference with respect to disturbing force let us understand given data with the help of diagram mass of 75 kg is given and the spring with stiffness k having deflection delta is equal to 0.018 meter now the harmonic force 625 newton is mentioned in the question then the damping coefficient is 0.25 times the critical damping coefficient so c by cc that is equal to zeta so value of zeta is given 0.25 then the frequency is 0.63 times the natural frequency so we can say that omega is equal to 0.63 omega n and that's why omega by omega n that is nothing but r is equal to 0.63 so this is the given data now we will move to the first question so natural undamped frequency so here the word undamped is used that is when no damping that is when no value of c is given then we have to find out the natural frequency so the how to find out the natural frequency omega n so we know that this omega n is equal to under root of k by m so we have to first find out value of k so how to find out this value of k because the deflection delta is given so k is equal to w by delta and w is nothing but weight so mass m is given m into g is equal to w so 75 into 9.81 divided by value of delta in meter which is equal to 40875 newton per meter so this is the value of k so we can calculate natural frequency omega n is equal to under root of k by m so when we put the value of k when we put the value of m then we get omega n is equal to 23.34 radians per second so this is the answer of first question now we will move to the next damped natural frequency so here in first question without damper we have to find out natural frequency and now here with damper we have to find out the natural frequency so damped natural frequency is nothing but omega d so with damper how to find out the omega d so we have relation in between omega d and omega n so omega d is equal to omega n under root of 1 minus zeta square where zeta is the damping factor and it is 0.25 so when we put the value then we will get 22.60 radians per second so this is the answer of second question now we will move to the third question ratio of successive amplitudes so the ratio of successive amplitudes we will calculate the ratio of x1 by x2 so how to find out this so for that we have formula for logarithmic decrement so we know that logarithmic decrement delta is equal to 1 divided by n minus 1 log of x1 by xn so x1 is the initial amplitude and here the number of n that is the final amplitude we have to take two because here successive amplitude we have to find out so n is equal to 2 so we will write here delta is equal to 1 divided by 2 minus 1 log of x1 by x2 now how to find out this delta so we have formula delta is equal to that is logarithmic decrement is equal to 2 pi zeta divided by under root of 1 minus zeta square so value of zeta is given 0.25 so when we put the value we will get delta is equal to 1.6223 now we will put the value on left hand side we will put 1.6223 on right hand side 1 divided by 2 minus 1 that is 1 divided by 1 is 1 log to the base e x1 by x2 now how to solve this so this is important so how to solve this because 1 by 1 is only 1 now here we will write e raised to 1.6223 is equal to x1 by x2 now if we observe the calculator here is ln term 
so first term is log and then on the right hand side of the log there is ln term so we have to take the shift and ln so if we press the shift and ln then we will get e raised to x term so e raised to 1.62 so i will take here 1.6223 which is equal to 5.064 so we can say that this x1 by x2 is equal to that is the ratio of successive amplitude is equal to 5.0647. So this is the answer of third question. Now we will move to the fourth question. So we have to find out amplitude of forced vibration. So here forced vibration that is nothing but the harmonic excitation force FO is equal to 625 Newton. So, how to find out the amplitude at this force to vibration? So, for this we will use the formula for magnification factor. That is nothing but Ohm is equal to amplitude due to harmonic force divided by amplitude due to static force. So, amplitude due to static force is not known. But we know amplitude due to static force is the ratio of FO by K. So, we will take here FO by K. And what is this Ohm? That is the magnification factor is equal to 1 divided by under root of 1 minus r square bracket square plus 2 zeta r bracket square. Now value of r that is nothing but the ratio of omega by omega n. So this is the condition mentioned in the question. So omega by omega n is equal to 0 0.63 and that is nothing but r is equal to 0 0.63 zeta is 0 0.25. So when we put we will get Magnification factor 1.4697. So only one unknown term x because FO is 625 value of K we have calculated 40875. So amplitude of vibration x is equal to 0 0.0225 meters. Now we will calculate phase angle phi. So here tan phi is equal to 2 zeta r divided by 1 minus r square. So value of r is known that is 0 0.63. Zeta is also known 0 0.25. So when we put value then tan phi is equal to 0 0.5223. So phi is equal to tan inverse of this. So with the help of calculator we will press shift tan tan that is tan inverse 0 0.25. 5223 and we will get the answer 27.5781 degree.